Morning everybody. I'm just getting ready to head out to the National Drive Electric Week. It's at uh, Lansdowne Park here in uh, Ottawa, Ontario, up in Canada. Uh, I just heard about this thing last night, so I'm just kind of scrambling to get ready. I went ahead and gave the uh, smart car a good wash, shine the tires. I'm going to put this thing uh, in the event with some of the other EV owners that are there. So it uh, sounds like it's going to be a good time. Going to network with some other uh, electric car owners and uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on. So hungry. Pretty much just woke up this morning, showered, washed the car off. I'm supposed to be at this thing for 9:30, but uh, not really late. So here we are, at McDonald's. Gonna grab a little bite to eat. Yeah, could I get a, uh, a sausage egg McMuffin meal? Yeah, and what was your drink? Uh, could I get a small coffee, one cream, one sugar? Okay, we've made it to Lansdowne Park. This is the first time I've here since they've uh, renovated this place and it looks really good compared to uh, the last time I was here. So we're heading over to the Aberdeen Pavilion. I have no idea where that is. Um, so I'm just gonna drive, hopefully I'm gonna see some electric cars and I'll know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I see something over here. I see a great big giant green bullfrog for bullfrog power. I see a Tesla. I see a Volt. All right, I'm in the right place. Excellent. Wow, there's a lot more here than I thought. Okay, so I'm here, I'm parked, I'm all set up. Got my smart car down over there. Man, I've been getting a lot of questions. I just finally got a minute to kind of walk around. So this is being put on by the Ottawa GEDO, the Green Energy Doors Open. So they have a whole bunch of things going on down here. The, uh, the electric vehicles are just uh, one aspect of the show. I think there's something about uh, renewable energies inside over there. So anyway, I'm just gonna walk around. We're gonna take a look at some of these cars and uh, maybe talk with the owners. All right, so here's the uh, the Chevy Volt, and uh, so yeah. So what kind of range you get on these guys? So this is a 2012 model. Uh, it's one of the first uh, first ones uh, sold in Canada or in Ontario, anyway. Uh, I get roughly uh, 40 to 80 kilometers winter summer. Okay. Uh, you know, this time of year maybe 65, 70 kilometers. Yeah. Which is, uh, which is pretty good. It uh, covers my day to day driving. Um, plugging in every night, just using a regular outlet at home, and. Um, you know, with the gas engine backup the Volt has, I can, you know, take it the distance. I can go to Montreal if I want to, or pretty much anywhere. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I've had this car for about uh, four and a half years now. I'm at 168,000 kilometers. Oh, wow. Yeah. How are the batteries doing after that? They're fine. They're really, fine. eh? 100%. No, uh, that's, no, that's reassuring to know. <laughs> no battery degradation Excellent. Uh, whatsoever. That's great. Actually, GM has not replaced the battery due to battery gen uh, degradation yet. So. Cool. That's pretty good. Oh, that is really good. So we have your gas engine here. Okay. And where the transmission would normally be, you got your two electric motors there. One's cool. a generator, one's a traction motor, but they work together. All three of them work together. It's You don't even notice it when you drive. That's pretty cool. Thanks for sharing that. No problem. Okay, we have a Nissan Leaf over here. This guy's got some pretty cool decals on it. I think this one supports the DC Quick Charger. We drove our leaf to New Brunswick. You guys made it to New Brunswick? Yeah, we wow. loved it so much that instead of uh, renting a gas car, we decided, hey, let's. it's going to be a longer trip, but it's going to be so much fun, and it actually was. Right on. Do you guys have any problem finding charging stations along the way? In Quebec, it was easy. Lots of fast chargers in Quebec, and we've got an app that shows them all. In yeah. New Brunswick, there's hardly anything. It's no way. Sparse. So New Brunswick was kind of like the wild west yes. of the electric charging. You had to plan ahead and even have a plan B and C if ever. Oh yeah. But we made it and we were so proud. Oh, that's cool. We're going to go back next year and actually do the tool that I guess PZ on top of it. Okay. So, Did you guys do any calculations on like what you save for fuel costs at all? 
Well, we estimate that it costs us about one dollar in electricity to drive 100 kilometers. Okay. So we know that every time we drive 100 kilometers, we're saving about nine bucks. Right on. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. And this year, like we love it so much, and we decided to participate in the biggest electric vehicle rally in the world. Okay. So we joined the wave. We represented Canada. And we finished fourth in 65 teams. Oh, well, that's cool, and guys. And they lent us that leaf, that blue leaf. Uh, it's a Germany, uh, German Nissan. German Nissan that landed the car. Okay. So we drove through Germany, Switzerland, and France. We were oh, wow, that'd be cool. That yeah. was nice. That'd be really cool. 15 days. Oh, yeah. So you guys aren't in any rush to buy another gas vehicle, I take it? Never. Well, ever. <laughs> well thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. You too. So, yeah. so what kind of vehicle do you have here? So what this is, this is a Formula SAE vehicle. Okay. It's raced in the Formula SAE series. Okay. This is a university um, student competition where basically teams from all over the world build these, this class of cars and we compete against each other. Oh, that's in cool. Competitions. The competitions that we attend with Carleton University is uh, one in Barrie and there's one in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, so this is Carleton University's electric car. Uh, she reaches a maximum speed of about 100 kilometers an hour in about four seconds. Oh my gosh, that's fast. So tell me a little bit, of kind of, I guess, about the, the the batteries you have in this, and maybe the motor. And this is this is right up my alley, because like I said, I I build stuff at home in my garage. And so these are the batteries here. Yeah. Um, they're two 80 pound batteries each. Okay. And they're lithium iron phosphate. Okay. And they power the motor, which is right here. This little guy weighs about 27 pounds. Okay. Um, that's actually the motor. Is it DC or AC? The motor is AC. Okay. The batteries are DC. And we have a motor controller that converts the batteries from DC to AC. Okay. There's actually 84 cells between the two battery boxes. Yeah. So 84 lithium iron phosphate cells to get that power to the wheels. Okay. And this car is designed to run at top speed for a half hour. So racing speed. That's for impressive. Half hour. So thanks a lot for uh, for sharing that with me. Okay, we're here with a, a Kia Soul. This is the first one I've seen kind of close up. So what kind of range do you get on this guy? Uh, it's rated for 160. We get uh, 180 average. Uh, and that's typically what the readout is, but we get yeah. over 200 on a day like today. That's really impressive for like a, a, an SUV style. Yeah, that's really good. You want to pop the hood and just kind of take a look at it? I saw one of these charging at the Brook Street Hotel one time, and I never even knew Kia made uh, an electric vehicle. Yeah, they don't. Uh, they don't advertise it a whole lot. No. But uh, it's one of the, the better ones in that price range, so it's kind of unfortunate they don't advertise it. Is it just front wheel drive? Just front wheel. It is, eh? And what size of battery was in this again? Uh, it's a. It's actually a 30 kilowatt, but it's 27 usable, so it's okay. advertised as 27. That's really cool. I think these will probably catch on a lot more than the cars because everyone kind of likes the SUV style. And I think so. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, if they can if they can up the advertising a bit, I think you draw in a lot more. That's the thing. Like, I never see these advertised at all. I didn't even know Kia um, made an electric vehicle until I bumped into one at the Brook Street Charging. I'm like, whoa, that's cool. Well, thanks for sharing that with me. No problem. Okay, so here we have a, a do-it-yourself electric, and uh, I'm here with the owner. Would you like to say a couple words about uh, sure. your electric truck? You, now, you were one of the, the early... Uh, Really kind of pioneers of, of, of this truck. Sure. I've heard about this Sparky truck here in Ottawa. So why don't you tell me a bit about uh, the setup you have in here? Yeah, well, the original conversion was done 15 years ago. We have uh, a DC motor, a net gain warp 9 DC motor, produces up to 200 horsepower. We have a, a, a Raptor, the blue box over in the left corner there is the uh, Raptor uh, controller up to a thousand amps at uh, 150 volts. So that's uh, 150 kilowatts that can produce. We have uh, the old style DC char or DC battery charger here. We have another charger in the back when we get there. Uh, this is the DC to DC converter. It produces up to 650 watts to keep the 12 volt battery happy and the lights and radio okay. and all that stuff running. Right. We've got 3,000 watts of uh, ceramic heaters built into that black box there. So that's yeah. like having two hair dryers blowing into the cab in the winter time keeps <laughs> the windshield clear and nice and toasty warm. Yeah. 
We've got uh, the vacuum pump here for the power brakes. So there's extra cylinder here for the vacuum. So the power, the uh, vacuum pump keeps the power brakes happy. Okay. And then we have uh, here the power steering. Uh, okay. Comes right off the motor. Uh, so we can uh, have power steering, which is great, very convenient. So you don't have a rad anymore, right? Because this thing There's is no radiator required. This guy's no. just air cooled. No, but the only thing missing cool. up here that I would like to have would be air conditioning. Oh and that's, yeah, that's easy to do, but we haven't done it. It's, it's just a little expensive. Time. Cool. Now the batteries. You've you've built this whole thing. You're, uh, yeah, well, we've got, by yourself, yeah. We've got lithium iron phosphate batteries here. Um, Rev Consultants did the original conversion and helped me put in the batteries. Um, Rick Lane there. But uh, these are lithium iron phosphate batteries. There's 48 cells, uh, each one at 3.3 volts, so it's a 160 volt pack. Okay. Um, the, uh, the little modules you see on each cell, they're doing the, the cell balancing, uh, so every cell at the in the charge uh, phase uh, gets to the same uh, end voltage okay and so that keeps everything nicely balanced um, yeah it's a it's a great setup and then we have a charger here the Elcon uh, 2500 watt uh, charger uh, and a ceramic and a heater an oil oil filled heater over there okay uh, from Canadian Tire I uh, see the, I see you've put the the standard plug in there as yeah, well the J1772 okay uh, standard plug. so you can just go up to any one of the regular yeah, yeah. kind of yeah, plug in, plug it in, and exactly. away you go. And, or That's can awesome. Plug into, to you know, dryer, dryer, or uh, or a regular 120 volt as well. So here's the first forward focus that I've seen. Um, this is pretty relatively new to the market, I believe. Uh, I honestly just don't know a whole lot about this guy. I was just chatting with the owner. He says he loves it. That's typical of most EV owners though. So I'm here with the owner. Um, why don't you tell me, I guess, uh, I guess kind of about the battery size, what kind of range you get on the Ford. Sure, I think the battery is 23 kilowatt hours. Okay. Uh, range is about 140, maybe as low as 110 if you're aggressive with it. Okay. Uh, what about winter driving? I haven't had it a winter. Okay, so this so thing's I'm really brand new fresh. for you. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. It's 2015, but I just got it about three months ago. Right. Yeah. What made you decide to go with the electric option? Uh, we have a Prius V as our first car. Okay, so you're kind of so already into it. We've got a bigger it. car, and we're kind of into that thing. And, uh, yeah. It's very fast. It's Shockingly fast, actually. Yeah, the electric you cars. Out around corners. Sometimes. Oh, you can, hey. <laughs> My wife did. And That's awesome. Was, yeah. A lot of people don't realize uh, how quick these little EVs are. They yeah. think they're like little uh, little golf carts, kind right. of putting around. But even though it's 140 horsepower, it's it's available immediately. Right. So, right. So, cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Sure. Okay, we're here with a Tesla, and. Uh, We'll talk to the owner here. So, how do you like the Tesla? First of all, this is like the well, the, the Tesla, premium electric vehicle right now. The Tesla is a lot of fun. I've made many silly purchases in my life. But <laughs> this one I've never regretted. That's awesome. It's a lot of fun to, to have this car. Now, which model is this exactly? This is the uh, S85. Okay. S just stands for sedan. Yeah. And 85 stands for 85 kilowatt battery, which is okay. one of the larger ones in the in the business, but. This is two years old, so now they have a 100 kilowatt battery. Yeah, I, I just saw that. Yeah. So what kind of range would you get on this on a full charge in the summertime? Depends on how fast you're driving. It, Let's uh, say like, you know, 80 to 100 kilometers an hour, like 80 cruising. To 100, you can, 80 to 100 kilometers an hour, you could probably get 400 kilometers out. Wow, of that's impressive. Yeah, but Every, I don't drive, I drive 120, so I don't get that. <laughs> you have a heavy foot, eh? A little bit, yeah. yeah. It drives nicely at 120, and uh, cops don't stop you there, so. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It has a lot of features. It uh, it has air suspension like the old 1950s Citron. Okay. So you can raise and lower the suspension, and when you get up to speed, it automatically lowers it closer to the road. Right. Um, it's not here. 
That is so cool. In the in the newer versions now, they have a dual. They have an engine in the front as well as one in the back. That this engine would drive the front wheels. Okay. So this is smaller. It's actually still has a storage space here, but it isn't as big because most of this is taken up by the front engine. I say, well, the tons motor of... isn't here. It's not obviously here. So my, no, it's not there either. Oh my gosh, there is tons Where is it? of storage, eh? Yeah, there's all kinds of storage. So is it just car. is it sitting here or it kind of under the seat? It is underneath this. It is, this eh? This is the axle. The center is a differential, conventional differential. Okay. On one side of the differential sitting on top of the axle is the motor, and on the other side is a uh, inverter to convert the direct current from the battery to AC current for the motor. Right. And uh, the motor itself is about the size of a watermelon. Very yeah, small. they're not very big. I've seen them. But but this car goes zero to sixty in four point four seconds. That's now, impressive. That's faster than any other sedan I know of. Oh yeah, and, absolutely. And it's it's performance version of this with dual motor and in something called insane drive. Yeah. Goes zero to sixty in two point five seconds, which is faster than any other. Yeah, the new the P one hundred D. It's crazy, eh? It's faster eh? than any other production car in the world. It's, it's so impressive. Half a million dollar cars. Yeah, it's so impressive what Tesla's doing for the EVs. Cool. Thanks so much for sharing this with me. It's a it's a very nice car. Okay, we're here with the uh, event organizer. Hello. So uh, I guess tell me about uh, a little bit about this green energy doors open thing. All right, my name is Raymond and I work with SmartNet Alliance and we are the regional partner, regional Ottawa partner for the green energy doors open. So green energy doors open is a, a year long campaign to help uh, bring awareness to green initiatives, green projects, uh, resources that are in the Ottawa area. This okay. is available across Canada. Green Energy Doors Open is done in Ontario, in Alberta, in British Columbia this okay. year. So we're bringing them from uh, from everywhere around. Okay. And this year we have the component of the electric vehicle uh, showcase. So we have about a dozen cars that came in today. Okay. To, on the Aberdeen Square. And the energy showcase, which is our green energy showcase, we had as of uh, half an hour ago, we had over 600 people that had come in. Oh, that's really good. Doors, we have all kinds of great uh, green products in there and organization. And what do you think about this fabulous smart electric right it. here? Is this I not the best? It. Is this not the best car here I or what? It is. It <laughs> is. <laughs> And how long have you had it? I've had this guy since uh, December 2015. Oh, wow. It's only about 18 months. Okay. Uh, and I've put about uh, 17,000 kilometers on it so far, and I absolutely you love, love it. it. Yeah, so it's. So, what a, kind of charge do you get on it? How far can you go? In the summertime, you get about 110 to 120, and then winter, maybe about 70 kilometers. So. so okay, but it gets yeah. you from here and there. If it's oh, yeah. Local, it does my commute, that's commute. for sure. That's yeah. for sure. Well, thank you very much for participating. Yeah, we hope thanks. we'll see you again next yeah, year. Yeah, thanks for organizing this. Sure. Okay, well that pretty much wraps it up for this event. Uh, this was great. I got to meet a lot of nice folks. Uh, EV owners, they love talking about their cars. Uh, go figure. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to head off. And thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, take care, folks. Okay, just pulled into my driveway. I'm about 20% battery. So I picked up about 5% charge when I was at the event. Uh, can't remember your name, but uh, big thanks uh, for lending me your cord there to charge that up. So you can see here I've done, basically I went 110 kilometers. It says I have a range about 27. So even if I hadn't picked up that, uh, picked up the charge, I, I definitely would have made it home. And you know, I'm kind of within that 120 kilometer range that uh, it usually says in the dash. Okay, well, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more EV adventures.